figure out what, what I think we should call these. What, what are they called? Just bad advice. <laughs> <laughs> I figured we would just... I was thinking about it this week. I was like, oh, I got some shit to complain about. <laughs> so no. <laughs> a lot of it had to do with business stuff. And I'm like, you know, it's going to piss a lot of people off. Like, mm-hmm. considering because obviously, it, obviously it's like pandemic stuff. But it's not really about the pandemic, you know, or about COVID. But people, just like everything else, we make it about it. You right. Know? It's, you know, I don't know. I just feel like it's things I've always had issues with anyways before this. And they've just been more prevalent, to say the least. So business, basically, mm-hmm. during a pandemic and... I don't know, on our way crawling out of it, I guess, is where we're at right now. But it the thing that frustrates me the most is that people they they we leaned into the government for the answers mm-hmm. and we're still expecting the government to take care of it. Yeah. I thought taking it in your own hands and Yeah. Well, and and not even so much that, but I mean like look, there's a lot of tough choices gotta get made. Like yeah. that that part I'll give to anybody in, in government. But bureaucracy is bullshit. And if you think that's where you're going to find any kind of help, like it's bullshit. Mm-hmm. And this is like, this is where my train of my, my, my train of thought was going with all this was like, I know I've been kind of harsh on teachers <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. during, <laughs> during this, but, but it, it, the, the biggest reason is, is because they're the reason why I pick on them so much is that they're the best example of, they're they're going to be the biggest mouthpieces for this in a way because they're still getting a fucking paycheck. Right. Bottom line. Like that that and a lot of them will tell you it's different or whatever. No no it's not because as soon as you stop getting a paycheck, I guarantee your your mentality changes in that. Right. And then on top of it, not only are you getting paid, you're not having to do your fucking job. Mm-hmm. So that and I don't fault them for that cuz that's the human nature of things. I work with guys, actually supervise guys that my guys aren't so bad, but there's other guys. They abuse the shit out of that stuff. You know, it's like they got COVID days to use. Those were used like vacation days. They weren't used because they had fucking COVID. Right. You know, so. They just took two weeks off on paid. Yeah. <laughs> it, yeah. And not consecutive either, mm-hmm. you know. And th- and that's kind of what it was for. It was like, hey, if you know, you got to help with your kids and because schools are shut down. So like this time last year, you're trying to scramble and figure out what the hell you're going to do. Right. Make a game plan for yeah. the two weeks that is now a year later. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 15 days to slow the spread. Right. We're working on 15 months, people. Right. <laughs> yeah. 15 months to slow the fucking economy and maybe break a few people down. And then side note on that, like the economy, I there's not in my experience or even like where I'm looking at and even with like family and friends, it. It really wasn't, it hasn't been that bad, but I think there there's probably going to be some residual from it. And I'm not saying it's bad. It's not bad for people because there's probably, there's people that I, that have had, lost their businesses, have been hurt by it. Right. But not, not to the level that they're screaming, mm-hmm. you know? I mean, look at the housing market. It's fucking stupid. People are paying over right. asking price because people are dumb. And that all goes into what I'm irritated with and where this bad advice is going to come from (laughs) is all based on that bullshit. But back to the teachers. Teachers do a tough job. I'll give them that. I don't like my kids that much. I don't want to spend all day with them. I'd rather a stranger do it. I'm perfectly okay with that. That's how much I like my kids. (laughs) (laughs) So I'll, I'll take them on the weekends. You know, I'm that guy. (laughs) <laughs> the, <laughs> that's my custody with the right. teachers <laughs> but they're you're still getting paid and you're not having to fucking work like i get that everybody wants that i want that i i absolutely want to get paid but not have to show up like that's fantastic the teachers unions and not just in our state have been some of the biggest pushback and, and look at just apologize out front right now not every teacher sees sees it this way and i understand that mm-hmm. I too am part of a union. I'm not a big fan of unions. Like it, mm-hmm. there's good and bad to them. Again, it's bureaucracy is what it is. It, it's bullshit, you know. So <laughs> it's not what keeps the fucking wheels turning. I just let's put it that way. Right. But we like to think that it is. So, fuck the teachers. Back to that. 
But the, but for example, that's anybody. Anybody that's going to get paid to not have to do anything, why the fuck not? You know, I mean, look right. at like unemployment. You get that extra because a lot of people needed it. Like we talked about, you bartend. Right. Your shit was shut down. Mm -hmm. That's going to benefit you because a lot of your wages come from tips, not just the minimum wage. You know, right. your tips are a big part of your wage. That helps you. But that doesn't necessarily help everybody. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's not enough. Sometimes it's more than enough type right. of thing. But you saw it in your taxes. That's income, right? Mm -hmm. That's what happens. You know, you got to report it. And I saw stuff on Twitter, people complaining about it, you know. I was waiting for it all year when people, was, well, when they started saying, oh, like, oh, yeah, the 12000 on front. And I was like, okay, well, tax season, that's going to bite everyone in the ass. Didn't bite me as hard, but. Right. <laughs> uh, but still, I mean, it's it, it's nice that it was there, and it was one of those things that kind of, that, that worked, mm -hmm. you know, to some capacity. And other people say there was a major failure in it because of the multi-billion dollars that were frauded out of it. Right. Now, that's also because it's a government fucking program, and it's government money. Nobody's going to say no to fucking government money. Right. No one's going to say no to free bread and cheese. Yeah. It's like, hey, we got a stimulus checks. Everybody's like, where's mine? Right. You know, and you know better. Most people know better. Like, well, it's my fucking, you know, it's your, your dependents. It's, that's right. why it's $1,400. It, it equates to what <laughs> your kids are worth to the government. Right. But, yeah, it's fucking pointless you know because it's it's just your money you're getting back or you're getting it in advance mm -hmm. most of the time it's just an advance so when this comes to businesses the government doesn't know best and i'm not a huge fan of regulation in most regards and this is probably where i end up sounding a lot like a libertarian <laughs> and because I'm, I'm for less government mm -hmm. you know and i'm fiscally conservative you know but I lean in a lot of different directions. Like, honestly, I might even feel different tomorrow about it. Maybe like, <laughs> fuck it. Let's just burn it down. You know, right. I might be an anarchist or anarchist in the morning. So, <laughs> but right now from my the businessman mm -hmm. perspective, from owning a business and having to deal with this and being regulated by a government agency, the ABC, what they actually regulate is the cell not really the consumption of alcohol, but to to an extent they kind of do because there's some really crazy laws in there with ABC when they were established, like in the, I don't know, even the 50s, but after Prohibition, which was over, you know, about 100 years ago at this point, right? right. Where the government decided that drinking alcohol was enough of a sin and not American that we're going to stop. You can't do it. Right. The government knows what's best for you. Look how well that turned out. Mm -hmm. Made a lot of people rich is what it did. Right. I mean, and in the same decade, we put a, an, um, an amendment in that said that basically prohibited alcohol mm -hmm. and then came right back out and said, fuck it, sell it again. Because <laughs> you, you had to make an amendment for it. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure if you talk to somebody that knows better, and I'm just kind of assuming that there's a reason why there hasn't been another amendment for, like, say, drugs right. or, like, heroin or things like that, because... It didn't work with fucking alcohol. It ain't going to work. Right. Yeah. You try to uh, make it legal, then, yeah, people are going to make a black market on it and yeah. go rampant. Which it, which it is now, right? It mm -hmm. already is illegal, but there's – so they've, they've set these other mm -hmm. aspects up, you know, that we've, we've scheduled drugs now. Right. Marijuana is a Schedule 1. <laughs> Makes a lot of sense. Right. It means it has no medicinal purposes. <laughs> fucking bullshit. Dumb. Look into the Nixon uh, um, administration, mm -hmm. and that's when the war on drugs started, and you see why – that is, I mean, and all that stuff's coming to light now, you mm -hmm. know, so <laughs> it's a control thing. Right. And I'm not trying to be a conspiracy theorist on any of this stuff because I also get irritated by that talk about what the pandemic is and how it's becoming a control thing. Right. You know, it's, it's the first step of martial law, all that bullshit. That yeah. Because well, day one, people were screaming that mm -hmm. they're going to be mobilizing the National Guard. Mm -hmm. It's like, shut the fuck up, you know? Hey, <laughs> my little brother's in the National Guard. Right. <laughs> He's not going to do anything. <laughs> he knows. And him and a bunch of other fucking slap dicks are in the National Guard, you know? Exactly. <laughs> it's your neighbors. It, and that's the other thing. It's They're just people. They're Americans. They're us. Mm -hmm. You know, it It doesn't matter. Same thing with government. The the officials, they're, they're just people. Biden, Biden's just a person. Trump is just a person. Yeah, they're just creepy old men with a lot of money. A lot of money. <laughs> Bad equilibriums. You know, <laughs> but like, 
it, to to think that the government's going to have the answers is ridiculous mm-hmm. to well, to to, think, as, to think, assume think. that they're going to come out and say something that's going to change it is that's a lot of pressure number 1 mm-hmm. and that's our fault for assuming that you know i mean you look for leadership you're looking for somebody to kind of help you know not necessarily steer the ship but guide it yeah kind of be up there and be like hey that's a big ass iceberg. Maybe we just veer this way just a little bit, you know? Right. But there's like a full fucking about face. And then it's like, woo, we dodged that one iceberg. Well, now there's a fucking another one, bud. Mm-hmm. Cause that's just, you know what I mean? So the drastic turns are what hurt. And that's, that's what's been happening. It's the, and then also, this is the part where I do get political with it much more is the fact that the ABC is, an agency governed or directed by the executive branch, which is the governor. The governor directs it. He appoints, and they're at his whim. Mm-hmm. There's a reason why they're used, because he has control over them. He doesn't have control over every other agency. Mo- I'm sorry, agencies he does, state agencies he does, because mm-hmm. that's actually how they work. It's the same thing with FBI, right, as far as the president. He gets to pick who's in charge there. Mm-hmm. He's He controls those things. Cole, Cole has good conversations about that stuff because it's stuff's like really right up his alley it, it's a strange policy and a set of rules that we have in the country and it's it's an awful lot of power it, it's kind of a strange thing mm-hmm. and anyways the abc is being steered in this direction to enforce well they're not enforcing the current laws it, they are but that's not what they're going after people at right i mean it's not like bars are serving minors right i mean maybe they might be <laughs> some bars but they're but they're not, you mm-hmm. know. So that's that's part of the problem is that it's like, hey, the ABC, they have a set of rules that they need to enforce. Mm-hmm. But we're also going to add these other ones that we just came up with. And they're also going to enforce those ones, too. Yeah, but they contradict each other, too, sometimes. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. And and I, I don't know. I, I mean, I've talked to a couple agents and. I mean, they're doing their job, mm-hmm. and that's understandable, you know, and I can commend that, you know, and I, I understand it. Um, don't necessarily agree with it, right? but it's just like the approach to to this pandemic. I've, I've, there's a lot of things I haven't agreed with, but then again, I'm also not in the captain's chair right. trying to figure it out. And, that, and that's where a lot of people lose their, their, <laughs> their sympathy for the, for the moment, you mm-hmm. know, is... It's real easy to, to armchair quarterback it when you're not the one under the gun, you yeah. know. It's easy to call plays when you're in the audience, but do the plays. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you should have did this, you know, or I told you this was going to happen. So that's a lot a lot of that shit going on, too, you know. Right. Well, we saw this coming. Shut the fuck up. You didn't see the pandemic coming. All of a sudden, you can predict everything after it, right. you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's stupid. But the government using their agencies to regulate mm-hmm. these self-made rules that are based on public welfare and, and, and health. It's understandable. But at this point, my biggest issue with it is, is that it's the only thing we've tried. We haven't really adjusted. Mm-hmm. We haven't adjusted much of anything. It's all been the same. It's shutdowns, masks, social distancing. That stuff's all good. And then, like I said, I didn't really want to talk about COVID or whatever, but like those, those are fucking practices and common courtesy. Mm-hmm. Most of that stuff. It's like, don't be an, a, a close talker. Don't stand on people's heels in the gra- in the grocery state, grocery store. Right. That's just normal shit. But there's some people need to be fucking told that, mm-hmm. you know, but this is maybe this will help. Probably not. Because we're just assholes <laughs> inherently. So right. that shit don't go away. It, it, it's going to be, it had to take longer than a year of practice. I mean, but those rules, those those guidelines that we're trying to help minimize the spread and this and whatever, at this point, the numbers are going down. You know, at this point, the vaccine is out and there's a lot of people taking it. There's a lot of people still saying they won't. Whatever. Right. Like, make your own choice. And that's just kind of where it's been. But this thing became political, too. You know, when... And, and and it just shows you without how our system works, each state is governed on its own. And obviously from the umbrella of the federal government. Right. 
but each state was was left to their own devices to mm-hmm. to make their decisions. You know, certain states stayed open, some states had mass mandates and and made their rules the way they did. Mm-hmm. Now, obviously, population comes into effect more people in California than there are in say Nevada, right? You know, so and I don't really know what Nevada's rules were necessarily. You know, not like Florida's. No, not at all. Florida, <laughs> Florida was like fuck this. Mm-hmm. You know. And it's understandable to a certain extent. But the problem is the, um, you know, passing the, what was it called? The CARES Act the first time, I guess. Or that might even be mm-hmm. the stupid healthcare stuff. I might be wrong. Whatever. They passed another act full of bullshit mm-hmm. that wasn't fully to help everybody. People were getting stimulus checks. That, that just feels like that's just smoke and mirrors. It's like, hey, toss them a crumb so they shut up, you right. know. And that's agitating. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, it, it comes in the form of loans. Mm-hmm. How the hell is that relief? Right, yeah. I'm going to give you money to give you a break, but then in a year's time, you're going to have to pay it all You're going to have to pay it back. <laughs> it's low interest. Don't worry. <laughs> right. You know, I mean, and, and it's ridiculous, you know. And, and you know something, too? Everybody's open to it. That's the thing that a lot of people don't understand is that, like, say, a small business like mine, mm-hmm. I could take advantage of that, and it might help me, Right. I'm also adding now I'm, I'm indebted to the government now because mm-hmm. the SBA is a government <laughs> brand or a, a piece of government, you know, or right. they're, they're ran by the government, I should say. I'm saying it all ass backwards, whatever. But mm-hmm. then so is Walmart. So is Target. So is any other franchise or. or Big chain. It, yeah. And, mm-hmm. and any other. So is the utility company. They're able to apply for the same things because they're business. They're just there's different levels of it, right? Small business, I think, is still like considered making under some odd million dollars mm-hmm. is still considered small business. It's crazy, right? You know, so it's not like hey, we're saving Main Street. Man, it's bullshit because yeah. not all of Main Street trusts that shit, and that's the main one of my biggest points. There is Main Street business doesn't look at it the same. They would just rather do it on their own. They don't trust that. They're not going to go borrow the money. If they're borrowing money, it may be from family. It may be from their own savings that they've scraped together and held on to. That's where that money comes from. Right. Very rarely do they reach out to the banks, you know. Very rarely do they approach them and, hey, I'd like to borrow $20,000 or $50,000 for this and that, you know. That's usually not how Main Street small, small town businesses do things. Mm-hmm. But... That's where the public seems to think that everything is, you know, this this was built to help small businesses. Well, do you know what how, what classifies a small business? You know, mm-hmm. that's like a question to ask somebody that wants to have all the answers for you. You know, take advantage of this. You should look into this. They want to help. No, they don't. You know, and I, I don't want their help. Right. More than anything. But it's pretty much not relief is the point. You know, feels like uh, you're being squeezed by a gangster. Right. It's all, It's like, oh, hey, go wash this money for me, but I want to keep 80%. You keep the 20 It's like, yeah. oh, well, I washed all that money, and yeah. now I can't. You do all the work. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like, well, and it's even, hey, we're going to shut you down, but for a small fee, yeah, <laughs> we'll uh, keep you afloat, even <laughs> though your doors are closed. And, th- and that's, that's kind of my point to, like, say, teachers, right? Mm-hmm. But I'm also in that same boat, in a way. Right, I work for the utility. I didn't get shut down. I didn't necessarily get sent home. I mean, in a way, you know, like mm-hmm. a little bit of remote work. But I always work remote, anyways. I was always I'm mobile, mm-hmm. but I'm also essential. That was another gripe. A lot of people, oh, we're essential. We should be getting paid hazard pay. It's like you should shut up, <laughs> right. go home, and take McDonald's your COVID yeah. hazard pay. <sighs> take your COVID days, jerks. <laughs> but, but that. It, the fact that we, we, we're, we're ignorant to so much shit and then we just lean on like, oh, the government's going to step in and figure this out. Mm-hmm. You know, half the people are praising Newsom. The other half want to hang him, you know. And like I said, I actually have a little bit of sentiment, you know, for him where I'm like, well, pretty hard place to be right now. Right. But he's also made a lot of dumb, dumb decisions before those things that I didn't like him for. Mm-hmm. I don't like him for the high-speed rail. We we'll just throw that out there. Him and Jerry Brown. I don't like them for that. Mm-hmm. You know, the hypocrisy. I, I don't know why anybody's shocked. You know, oh, he was at the French Laundry eating inside without mask on, not uh, following his rules. That duh. 
Yeah, how else are you going to eat with a mask? <laughs> <laughs> Take it off. Right. <laughs> but yeah, they don't want to... It, 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 it's not so much of the do as I say, not as I do thing. Mm-hmm. It's not so much of that. It's just, look, they're humans. Right. And maybe you're expecting more out of them than is reasonable. It's like you're expecting them to fail in mm-hmm. a way. And then the other side of it is, is like praising them enough to where it's like they can't do anything wrong. You know, it's just like a constant excuse for, for what it is. Mm-hmm. And you see that now with Biden. You saw it with Trump. Mm-hmm. I mean, everybody, you know, it was it was major with Trump on both sides. You know, how incompetent and ridiculous he was. And then, you know, oh, nope, there's a, like the real extreme was the QAnon thing where it's like, oh, no, he's he's doing it for a reason. It's right. Like, mm-hmm. You guys live in comic books. It's not the real world. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's playing Trump. Trump's world, not the real world. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's probably a safer place to be, though. Maybe. L- living in your own space. Not having to deal with all this bullshit. Getting shut down by a government that has... By, by an agency that has old rules that are based on prohibition. Mm-hmm. Strictly. It's where it came from. I mean, there's some crazy stuff in there, you know, but it's also a, a regulation to, to really break up money and monopoly on it, too. Mm-hmm. Um, and those things make sense, you know, but not not allowing people to make their own decision to go and congregate or go and meet, you know. Mm-hmm. I mean, the bar, our bar, I don't make people go in there. Right. You know, people come on their own. I could be shut down if people. I, I I could lose everything and be shut down. Just back uh, straight on the fact of not making any money because people are like, we're not going to go. Right. But that's the thing with America is like it's kind of based on liberty and choice. You know, well, that's freedom what it was founded on. Basically, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's the premise. You know, right. and it's it's just such a hard stretch to try to enforce these things Mm -hmm. you know and that and then like i said it it it's a it's a shit place to be because then it's like a fight with my neighbor you know and i and i mean like the abc is Mm -hmm. my neighbor you know somebody that lives here you know or here in the same county same state whatever it is you know Mm -hmm. probably would be a person that would go to my place right you know but his job is to now enforce this Right, close down a business for a couple of days or however long. Yeah, or penalize you mm-hmm. for for not operating under you know a, a guideline. Mm-hmm. And I I don't know how serious that is. I don't know how. You know, I don't know how far that that can go with that. You know, like here's the deal: as soon as you you sign off on something and you admit guilt to it, you're basically putting yourself in timeout or you're paying your own penalty because you agreed to it. That's why you signed your brother's name. Yeah. I'd be like, ooh, sorry. Mom that, taught me that trick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Yeah, but anytime, like, we cleaned up a warehouse one time, me and mom, mm-hmm. and she there was a can of spray paint. And I was like, oh, I want to go tag something. Like, go tag a piece of wood, you know, that's out there. And she's like, don't write your name. Write your brother's names. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. I don't think it's, I don't think she was talking about, like, federal documents, though. Uh, I use the same concept concept in life. So it's, it's a nice lesson to have. Yeah, I can see it. <laughs> I, I can see how you how you would think that works. Right. It'll work until it doesn't. It's working. <laughs> Don't knock it till you try it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but so I, I know I got way lost there and everything I was saying. But I'm fuck the teachers. Fuck the teachers. That was number one. <laughs> Which that and that's just everybody that wants to take advantage of getting paid and not working mm-hmm. and taking advantage of this last year of, of being able to to be lazy. Fuck everybody that wants to be all conspiracy theorists about it too. That shit's annoying. That shit's fucking frustrating because it doesn't help. Right. It just it, it just feels like it, it it sets the line harder at that point. And right. like I don't want to pick a side, you know? But I'd also just wanna fucking run my business live my life, send my kids to school, my kids go play sports, you know, those kind of things. Like, Yeah, you don't want to have to drive an hour to take your kid to sports. Right. Like run around playing outlaw, outlaw football and trying to find fields, you know, right. like dodging cops and stuff, you know. So it's like, dumb. 
Well, it's like eating inside a restaurant right now in mm-hmm. California feels like you're breaking the fucking law. You know? Makes it eating so much better. So. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Doesn't it feel like you're in prison? You're just eating fast with your head down. Like, okay, we gotta go. <laughs> Before the fuzz shows up. But, and, and I know that's part of my frustration is, you know, the change, mm-hmm. you know, and the those, you know, comforts kind of go away. Look, I didn't really like necessarily going out all the time. I really didn't like being at the bar all the time with a bunch of people. Right. You know, I tease people all the time and tell them, just leave your money at the door. You don't ever have to come in. I mean that. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, and I know, I know those are, you know, part of where my frustration comes from, mm-hmm. but from the running a business aspect, there's there's another part of that too. You know, there's the I have an issue with authority. I'm not a big fan of being told what to do or how to do it. Well, it must be hard too. I mean, you cop out all the money for licensing fees and all that stuff, and then they tell you no, you can only use one of the three that you bought. Yeah. <laughs> well, right. So like we have a catering and an event permit, mm-hmm. and those cost money. Well, the application also costs money. So to initially get it started, there's an additional fee. It, right. This is, again, this is bureaucracy. That's what that is. It's every paper costs money that you got to you know, for. And, I, and I mean, I mean, I've used this example before. If you've ever thought that government was the answer, who likes going to the DMV? And I apologize <laughs> to anybody that works at the DMV, but who enjoys their fucking day at the DMV? No one. Exactly. That's a government agency. That's a government office. That's government mm-hmm. ran, like, Imagine every aspect of your life being ran that same capacity. Like Zootopia explained it the best. It's all a bunch of sloths. Oh, it's so <laughs> terrible. Exactly. <laughs> but and, and that's just what that's what government is. That's what bureaucracy is. So yeah, we you have to apply for these things. Mm-hmm. Okay, granted, they weren't doing events. They're not allowing them. Understand it. Well, every time we do an event, we actually have to have another application fee for it. Like, hey, we're gonna do this event adjacent to our building or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. It's a hundred dollar application. If it's over a certain amount of people, it's even more. One of those things. So we also have a catering permit. Allows us to do off site on private property or even public property. If mm-hmm. it's public, it's got to be signed off other ways, right? So there's a lot of, you know, red tape. There's right. a lot of chasing around getting these things done. Everything costs money. Just owning that permit or that license itself already costs money. It's an annual fee. So ours was up, obviously. We end up paying it. And I had asked even about our initial license. I said, well, is there anything that, you know, is it going to be prorated uh-huh. for the time we've been shut down when we haven't been able to sell? Because, I mean, there was times before they even said you can do to go, mm-hmm. you know, or even doing outside. We didn't even have a patio like so many other places. Right. By the way, which was an application and a fee to get. A patio. Yes. So <laughs> nothing's free. Right. You know, and they got a business to run. What the fuck ever. So... <laughs> And the reason why they're a business is because I'm a business, you right. know? I mean, it that's how it works. I know I'm not the only one, but I'm one of them. Right. You know, I'm why I'm why they have a job. Mm-hmm. I'm that I'm that reason. But no pro rate, it's flat fee, still standard, this is what's expected. And then uh we're also not going to be approving any catering or event licenses. And it's like, well, what was the other option? Mm-hmm. Could we not have paid that money? To renew those, could they be on hold, you know? But no, there's, you know, it's too late to ask those questions because they've already cashed our check at this point. Right, it's already been five days to clear the bank account. Yeah, (laughs) so those things are frustrating, Mm -hmm. you know, and that's because there's humans running that department. There's humans in that job, Mm -hmm. you know. We're flawed. We're we're not good at everything. So I'm hearing you're cool with robot workers? Fuck yeah. You want to get paid $15 an hour to flip fucking burgers? Then, yeah, I'm cool with robots. Mm-hmm. I'm cool with robots fucking doing that. Because then now you can go and, I don't know, maybe try to find another job. Maybe try to... Turn a hobby into a career. And the truth mm-hmm. is, that's that's not how it is. Like that, That's not even what it was. Those jobs... Minimum wage is bullshit anyways. There's jobs that are not supposed to be forever jobs. They should be your stepping stones. There should be a bunch of high school kids... Working at the fast food, a bunch of the local kids doing that stuff, mm-hmm. staying employed so they can have some spending money, so they can learn a, a, a schedule, learn how to work with other people, 
Customer service fucking sucks. You know that as well as I do. <laughs> but that is some of the best experience you're going to get. Right. And Learn that's how to what, talk to people that yes. way. Yes. <laughs> and that's what and it needs to just be that. It needs to be that experience mm-hmm. because then you should look into college or trade school or and, and now a career. Right. You know, that's that's where it should go. But college is another discussion because I'm not necessarily a big fan of that. Right. Either. <laughs> and a 10 grand or upwards. <laughs> 10 grand's on the cheap side for right. a year. Mm-hmm. Well, if you were talking about like a trade school, you could pay 10 grand once. Right. You know. That's Which is the, a better option. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and essentially be high school educated, mm-hmm. you know what I mean, with a direct education in the field that you're going into. That's why that's phenomenal. I think that's such a good way to do it, you know. Mm-hmm. What the hell do you need general ed for? Yeah. It's not making anybody smarter. I mean, look at us. We've not gotten smarter off of fucking college. Right. Yeah, you, know, you pay your first year of college and it's general ed that literally you're learning stuff that you taught in yeah. sophomore year of high school. <laughs> Why are, exactly. we going, why are we going back? And then even that in high school too, your sophomore year, they're teaching you stuff that you learned in eighth grade for like one semester. Right. It's like, why are you guys doing that? Like, I understand. Yeah. You got six weeks to learn a topic, but why do we keep on going back? Right. Why not move forward? Right. No, exactly. Cause of government. Right. Cause of government made student loans. Um, non-forgivable basically you can't file bankruptcy you still hold on to it mm-hmm. when you file, if you ever did file for bankruptcy you still have that loan it's bullshit you, you've given the universities government money like guaranteed that's that's what it is like contractors that work like construction guys that work and get government bids mm-hmm. it's phenomenal because it's guaranteed money that's that's how it's looked at you know and that's the bullshit part and that's basically the universities having guaranteed contract money right with the government and that's again looking to the government to be an answer and they and they're not they don't have the answers they're not the solution right and it's people working not, yeah. not every person has an answer well not everybody's honest either mm-hmm. you know not everybody's good at their job <laughs> that's probably the biggest fucking point right you know there's people who are really fucking shitty at their jobs a lot of them work for the government <laughs> Or for the utility. I know a bunch. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> but, yeah, I um, not. I think I like regulation to a certain extent, you mm-hmm. know. Stuff that makes sense. Yeah, things that, that, are, that are reasonable, mm-hmm. you know. And I think that's why there's, there's never, there, there isn't usually a hard line drawn in, um, you know, in a policy, mm-hmm. you know, there's always, there's always got to be some kind of flexibility, you there's know, some to gray it. in everything. Yeah, absolutely. Because that's what the world is. Mm-hmm. Because if you draw a hard line, then it, you're going to have people circumvent it all the time, find their ways around and find a way to make it benefit them. You know, that's, that's just what it is. Mm-hmm. You know, that's what the ABC was made for to break up the monopoly of the, you know, booze runners. Right. <laughs> yeah. You know? I mean, in literally, there, there's a law. You cannot make it and sell it and distribute it. You can't, those three things, you know, it's a tight house law. Like, you can't be, the, you can't even be any two of those things. You either are a brewer, uh, a brewer and this is on the big scale because mm-hmm. breweries are different, obviously. The, the, those are new laws right. that have been brought, like microbreweries and, and those kind of things. But at a certain point, you can't brew it. You can't sell it directly to the customer retail mm-hmm. and you can't distribute it to other places. So, you know, there's other distributors, right? That that's why there's multiple distributors that have, you know, like us, we have to buy from this, this distributor to get these five beers and from this mm-hmm. other one to get these other three or four beers, you know, that we're looking for. So th- those, those laws are seem legit. You know, I can see where someone would be mad because, yeah, you could do awfully well if you did all those things. Right. Now, a brewery on a certain level, and this is actually things that have been brought up, too, with the state also. So there's there's been talk about a lot of that stuff with, you know, microbrews and mm-hmm. and things like that. So the argument's been that that law should pertain to them, and in a way it kind of does. And I don't know. There's never been, again, they've left it gray. Right. Which is good. 
you know, no, no point in asserting yourself into something that making a rash de- decision, right? Like locking everybody in their houses for two fucking weeks. Mm-hmm. And then another 30 days after that, like, <laughs> right. Yeah. You can't pull a trigger that hard, especially on like booze. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, and, and obviously they've seen what, what's happened before, even what's happening with drugs, mm-hmm. you know, with narcotics and things of that nature. Hell, even prescriptions. I mean, it's a whole market, it's a whole game in itself. Right. You know, but I have my conspiracy theories about those things too. <laughs> There's a lot of people making a lot of money in, in the drug staying illegal mm-hmm. aspect, you know? Well, it's a black market. So, I mean, anything that you can't per se have and yeah. then sell it on the streets, yeah, you're going to make money. You're going to racketeer it up and everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Well, and you got to grease palms to make it work. Mm-hmm. So, the money goes a long ways. Right. It goes, goes out to quite a bit of outstretched hands, I think, you know. So, I mean, there's there's subtle pushes for it. I'm usually kind of for it. Or I'm like, well, just let people fucking decide. It's what we're doing anyways. Right. The hard part is we don't usually let people go when we let them decide and they make bad decisions. It's like, oh, we should help them. Like, nah, they made a bad decision. <laughs> right. They don't hang themselves. <laughs> it's okay. We just let them go. But big hearts, bunch of crybabies, soft ass, pusses. That's what we are. <laughs> but let me see if I got all my points out about fuck okay. the teachers. Mm-hmm. Fuck the government. Fuck regulations. Fuck some of them. Mm-hmm. I'm okay with some. Cool with robot workers. Good with robot workers. Only only because that's what you fucking deserve for being an asshole. You deserve to have a robot replace your ass. <laughs> like, god damn. That's we're we're dumb. We're the dumbest things in this world. And but, it's okay, so if there's a robot worker at Taco Bell, per se, right? Mm-hmm. Opposed of a human What's worker. his name? Um, A1. A1. Okay. <laughs> Steakhouse. Yeah. So <laughs> but, so, with a human worker, you probably wouldn't ask for extra sauce, <laughs> right? <laughs> Choking. <laughs> I'm choking my beer. Okay, hold on. So when you All right, you're choking on A1 sauce. What no, do you have you're, <laughs> you're asking for extra sauce to the drive-thru, right? Oh, okay, from A1. From either the robot worker or the human worker? I'm going to call him TB1. Okay. Well, call him whatever you want. Okay. <laughs> but um, he asked for extra sauce. Most likely the human worker is going to go and just crane grab, throw it in, or even just give you just two more. The robot, he's going to give you that specified code coded number of one extra sauce. It's going to be like that really like mean bitch to the drive through. You're like, hey, can I get extra barbecue for my chicken nuggets or whatever? Yeah. She's like, oh, sorry, I can only give you one before I have to charge you. That's like the robot, different. the robot won't. You're saying the robot won't see, like, oh hey, won't have that human interaction of mm-hmm. like, yeah, sure, do an extra one in there for yeah. you, like doing the sweet thing. Uh, I gave you eleven chicken nuggets because you're a boss. Yeah. Well, but what if the robot develops feelings? Well, there is a robot with feelings. We talked about that one. Yeah, time. it's bullshit. <laughs> but no, no, you got <laughs> ten nuggets. That's what you paid for. Because guess what happened when you got that 11th one? You know where it came from? Someone a fucking else. floor. Yeah. And they were like, here, throw it in the fucking box. That's what I would do. <laughs> I'm just saying. And this is why I know. That's why I know people are assholes. Because I am one. <laughs> I are one. Yeah, that fucking 11th one came from the floor. And if you want another one, you're going to pay me 50 cents. Well, not the fucking... I'm usually stoned and drunk when I'm going to McDonald's now, so... This makes sense. Okay. This makes sense. Really? McDonald's when you're drunk? Man, I don't know. Fries? I always want Taco Bell. Fries. Potatoes. And tacos. I always want tacos. Like, not not good tacos either. Like Jack in the Box or <laughs> right. Taco Bell. Tacos. Greasy, nasty tacos. Yeah. Actually, greasy, nasty would be even better. But that's like the worst too. Even like now when I'm hungover, I mm-hmm. want Taco Bell. <laughs> that's like terrible. <laughs> I've already got the bubble guts. Right. I think I'm just going to finish it off. I'm like, ugh. <laughs> Should have just stuck to beer. <laughs> Yeah, no, the robot robots would be that. As an owner of Taco Bell, I'd be glad that that robot 
was keeping shit up. Well, yeah, businessman, you'd like it. But as a customer of Taco Bell? Well, then don't go to Taco Bell no more. Go to the place where they got human people working. Well, if Tony's was you. still out where he parks at, I'd go there. He does, uh, ra- Randomly, he is. Mm-hmm. It, yeah, and the same thing with the guy in Arosi. I've been there like two Sundays in a row, and I'm like, son of a bitch, he's not here. And then this last time we went, I was like, oh, he's here. I was super happy. Yeah, when we went up to the ranch, whatever that was a month ago, I was like, oh, look, babe, look. <laughs> it was like, we should pull over when we come back and we come down the mountain. He wasn't no. there. Mm-mm. Yeah. Random Saturdays, random Sundays. So I don't know if he's like moving around or doing something else. I don't know. But yeah, I don't want a robot working at a taco truck. Mm-hmm. That, that I wouldn't like. I feel like that robot would have an attitude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Parked in Farmersville? Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. So robot workers. I'm down. I'm down. You you should be replaced if, you, if you're going to be that person. And look, most of those people probably want to be replaced. Right. You know? They're like, can I still get paid? <laughs> I'll just stay at home. That's where I was trying to go. It was back into the, the government thing. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, I didn't reach out to the government you know, besides the ABC, when I had to, mm-hmm. you know, to start my business. But, you know, I don't I don't lean on them for financial advice or, you know, how do I get more customers in here? Like, I don't, they're not a part of that, you right. know? Because that's your business tactic is to figure out that stuff naturally. Yeah. And I, and I get, I, I'm, I'm actually over sympathizing with the reasoning and rationale behind things, you know, because at this point it, it's like, and I'm sure there's a lot of businesses probably been in that position where it's like, Hey, we're either just going to, it's going to happen or it's not. Right. I mean, and the ones that have pulled the plug, I mean, we, we, we know people that have shut down their businesses during this, you know, and in a way it's kind of a, a self choice in that, you know, but then also in a way you feel kind of forced. Right. You know, I mean, I feel like I have a choice. I feel like I have a choice personally to say they're either going to burn it down or I'm going to burn it down. Right. Fuck them, I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. Where, you know, somebody else would look at it like, well, this is what they're telling me and how I have to operate, and I can't, and I tried, and now I have to close. Right. You know, and that that hurts. That hurts. That makes me feel bad, you know, especially when it's someone that I know, you know, or someone that, that I've been excited for, you know, to, right. to continue, you know, to have a, a business and, and to grow that the way that they were, you know, and then to see something like that and like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't blame them, you know, for pulling the plug because who wants to deal with that bullshit? Right. Do you want to deal with that headache forever or for however long? But no, I get what you're saying. It's already stressful enough, mm-hmm. you know, to, to try to, to make the margins and to, to run it, you know, and try to build mm-hmm. also, you know, and, there's, there's such a up and down to it all the time, you know, and people, and it's fine. It's not for everybody. Not everybody's that got that kind of drive or like, I'm going to go get into this type of thing, you know, right. and that's understandable, but it's also kind of like, you know, <laughs> those are also a lot of the people that like to stand up and, and say the most shit, mm-hmm. you know, and they have the biggest opinion about things where it's like, you got no idea. You had no idea before this stuff started and all of a sudden you, you know, read a few Facebook articles and you're fucking professional. Right. You know, we're all fucking virologists. Mm-hmm. That's the right word, right? Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> we're all fucking experts, you know, especially anybody that doesn't own their own business. You know, it's real easy to look at and be like, well, you should just do this. What about this? Huh? And then even the, <laughs> the non, the real shitty sympathetic, like, oh man, it must suck. Uh, I feel real bad for you. It's like, no, you don't. Right, because you don't know, no. and you're just saying it just to keep conversation going. Yeah, and it's like, you don't have to feel bad. Don't feel bad for me. Mm-hmm. Have another beer. Shut the fuck up. Right, yeah, if you feel bad, <laughs> drink a keg tonight. <laughs> yeah, let's float this through it. Right. Um, and I think that was, I think I already made that point, but that was kind of where I was going into mm-hmm. it, was looking for government to be the answer. which It's not. Oh, that's where I wanted to go with it, is... I would have hoped that this was where a lot of people would open their eyes to this a little Mm -hmm. bit more of like that the government isn't the fucking answer, doesn't have the answer. That's what, that's really what it is. Like it is, there's no fix. There's no catch all. There's no, you know, silver bullet there. Right. There's no magic wand. And to expect it is ignorant and to continue to expect it, Mm -hmm. 
you know, I mean, you're just going to be let down uh, on both sides, you know. And I feel like government's playing this weird game now of really buying into the identity politics, and that's going to bite them in the ass. Right. And, and it's it's happening on all all sides of it, you know. It, it's not just left. It's not just right. It's it's fucking everybody. Mm-hmm. And if you think that that's it's like that's that's like a big smoke and mirrors game they fucking played, you know. And people bought into that shit. And the biggest part about that is, is that you have almost both sides really fucking leaning into the government like they're the fucking answer, you know. Mm-hmm. It's like any any Trump supporter that's pissed off that he's not there and is like. Fighting to get him back in there, I'm like, now you're just buying in. Like he, like I think he did a better job. My personal opinion, I really think he did mm-hmm. do a better job than the previous last four years of the previous administration. Right. I think he did a much better job. But do I think that he's the answer? No. I think he's kind of the same thing. I think that when you're in that position, that's just what fucking happens. Right. You know, you, you're literally the president of the free world, and yeah, that's okay. How do you? How do you? Guide freedom. Yeah. There's a lot <laughs> of pressure a, in that. That's a big responsibility. Well, because what's freedom to everybody? Right. Look at the pandemic. You mm-hmm. got a lot of fucking answers there. Mm-hmm. People that are scared to death to go live their life and enjoy their freedoms, and we're willing to sacrifice it until this thing blows over. Right. Which, th- it, that's not true either. It's because they're fucking comfortable. Mm-hmm. Take away your fucking comfort. You, you'll you change your fucking minds. Take away your paycheck. Take away your fucking house. Take away you know what I mean? Take away internet for a week and see how oh. fucking much people go crazy. Teachers. Government. Answers. Regulation. Mm-hmm. Answers. Well, government being not the answer. Oh, not the answer. I was going to say all those things. Fuck them. Yeah. Robot That's workers. Robot workers. <laughs> up with them. Yeah. <laughs> Coming for your job, you sons of bitches. Get your shit together. Learn to dig a hole. I don't know, robot probably dig a fucking pretty good hole. Just saying. You haven't seen the robot that bowls a perfect 300 game? Oh, I did see that. It just launches the ball into the back of it. Fucking brilliant. It's a 300 300 perfect game. (laughs) It doesn't even hit the alley at all. It just hits the pins. Uh, (laughs) How heavy is the ball? It's like a five, a seven pound ball. Oh, it's like a light one? Yeah. Really light? Mm -hmm. But Uh, it just, it spins and and just launches it. That's so cool. I saw a guy made one that that kicked field goals. Mm Mm-hmm. That thing was pretty cool. He was kicking uh, like well, he, eighty he, yard field goals with it. Mm-hmm. And it was like a, just a leg on this little contraption, and it goes all the way up and cocks <laughs> like that. <and laughs> boom! Kicked it, but it kicked the shit out of it like as high as it was going out. It was mm-hmm. actually pretty cool. But that also seems like a waste. All right, so I think I got most off of my chest what I wanted to say. I think. For I today, I may, I may have forgot some stuff about what I was. I was yelling at my radio today in my truck. <laughs> I forget what it was. All I was yelling about random things. But it was partly that government. I was mostly mad at the government today. What? No, it cut you off. Was it a fucking ad or something? No, no. I was. I actually. Okay. So this is a funny thing. I had to turn the radio on, so I had something to yell at <laughs> because it wasn't even on. Mm-hmm. Like I was literally at. Phone call after phone call, you know, and then I don't, I don't know what it was. Something popped in my head. I started thinking about the ABC mm-hmm. and stuff, and then just kind of started going down that road. <laughs> and like in that, in in that, you know, I'm just driving down the 198, going into Hanford, and in that trance, I'm just thinking. I literally was like, "Fucking teachers!" <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> Start preparing yourself. Yeah, well, because like the kids just went back to school this week, you know, and I'm like, I'm like. I hope the teachers are fucking hating it. I hope they're <laughs> I hope they're mad. Right. It's been a full fucking year of you being off, you know. I hate picking on them. So we actually have a lot of friends and family that are teachers, but it's okay. I had a group of customers I don't see anymore, so we can talk shit about them. Shit, they're just staying at home too. Mm-hmm. Well, well, see, they're being one smart. One of them comes. One one comes with his wife, and they're he's, being he's they're, cool. They're being smart because they want to be seen out in public. They're pussies. They're all pussies. <laughs> so go out in public. Who cares? They're paying you. Tell them it's not your fault. Right. Tell them I wanted to go back. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. Tough times. Bad decisions. Bad decisions. Even worse advice. <laughs> <laughs>